Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that if you're returning. How you doing? What we're going to be talking about today is checking your receipts and making sure everything is up to par and that you're not being overcharged or there, you know, there's no like little fees being put in there, right? Have you ever gone to a certain store, whether it's Walmart, Target, wherever okay and you strictly shop sales you're sworn to a total amount due could it possibly be like as much as the cashier said it was you know and you're like wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute i know what i spent i know what it's supposed to be hang on just a minute right well you might be onto something here okay because both of these retailers walmart and target have recently gotten into hot water for overcharging customers and they're finding themselves in an investigation as well as a lawsuit and inspiring angry people to share their experiences. Yeah. She calls herself the little housewife from Murraysville and she has defeated the nation's largest retailer in court again. See, this time the court awarded her $180 over a two cent overcharge. That's right, two pennies. Why does Mary Bach go to this trouble? because she believes Walmart is overcharging on purpose just enough so that no one would bother complaining except her. When they lure you to buy a product at one price and then they electronically overcharge you by, try, by charging you a higher price at the checkout, it's electronic bait and switch and it's that simple. This time they charged her a dollar on a box of sausages. The advertised price was 98 cents. <laughs> When you're buying an item, you want to make sure you're paying the price listed on the shelf. If the price is going up across the board on so many different items, you certainly don't want to pay more. Chris Baker experienced several price overcharges at the Walmart Superstore in Chapel Hill. This fuel injector cleaner listed at $25.97, but he was charged $29.96. And these dozen donuts priced on the shelf for $7.14 cost him $9.48 at the register. Turns out this store has been repeatedly flagged by the state agency, which checks prices. Back on November 15th, it failed inspection. It was re-inspected on the 20th. Failed again. Walmart was fined $5,000. Another inspection took place in February. It passed. Then the state got another complaint. It went back in April. The store failed again. Evidence of that, fines for incorrect prices have jumped 50000 a year to over a half million. The problem so bad the state can't keep up with it. Now in that video that I just showed you, I realized it was only just a few cents. But a few cents adds up. And if they're doing it, to hundreds of people, thousands of people, millions of people. It's a lot of money that racks up. Just think about it, right? So, you know, like anything, it adds up, like I said, over time. Other customers have noticed overcharges of like a few dollars, more than the advertised price. Even if it's just a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, doesn't matter. What are they doing, right? So the debacle sparked two class action lawsuits with ongoing investigations filed in August of 2022. And these suits allege that Target and Walmart use shelf pricing that misrepresent the prices that consumers are charged when purchasing their items. Hello, today I'm in Lloydminster, Alberta. And I just went to Walmart and I want to give all the lovely people that love shopping at Walmart a warning. Today, as the lady scans my stuff, I bag it, I put it in my cart. I go to pay in just a couple up from the amount that I owed. It said footwear. And I said, where did this footwear come from? We didn't scan any footwear. I didn't buy any footwear. I didn't pack no footwear. She looked confused. She searched my stuff like I had it. Um, then she went and found somebody else and she checked and said, do you have, you don't, you didn't have any footwear? And I'm like, no, I don't have any footwear. So thank goodness she took off the footwear off of my bill. But what the heck is going on? You need to watch what they're scanning at Walmart everywhere. But my- Have you ever noticed these phantom charges? footwear charge what is that a 
footwear charge? Have you, are you checking your receipts? This is so important. And I'm sure that it's not just Target and I'm sure that it's not just Walmart. There's got to be, which I'm sure there is, other uh, grocery stores, other retail stores that are doing this, but they're just trying to like sweep it under the rug. You know what I mean? I mean, a $2 footwear charge, but how many people have not realized that? You know, how many other thousands of people or millions of people have not realized this? I mean, for shoppers looking to escape overcharging, check your checking your receipts is an absolute must. It is a must. And cross-checking the receipt against the price on the shelf, it's paramount. Paramount. So, always check your receipts even before you leave that store. Okay? All right, guys, I'm out of here. I will see you in the next one. You stay safe, you stay positive, you keep prepping, and as always, fear less. <coughs> Ciao. Oh, shush. <coughs> <coughs>